Some people would think that I have a pumpkin addiction. Maybe they got a point. I mean, the first step is admitting it, right? But one thing I can't do without is my pumpkin spice latte that gives me that creamy comfort. And listen, I tried going to my local coffee house until I realized what was in it. Two doses of caramel color level four. And a grande contains 50 grams of sugar. This is a hormonal nightmare for my lady balls. And within 30 minutes, my liver will store that as fat. Whether you have it with milk or soy, it is a hormonal and inflammatory nightmare of a cocktail. Looking for a fast track way of packing on the pounds? Drink lattes, baby. And what's worse, I discovered that there's actually no real pumpkin in it. No one messes with my pumpkin or my hormones, and it's time someone did something about it. Are you ready? If so, let's do this. Hey there, it's Melissa Ramos, nutritionist with a background in Chinese medicine. I'm also the owner of Sexy Food Therapy. Now before we begin, I'd like to give some mad love to my sponsors, Natron, the probiotic specialist since 1982, and St. Francis Herb Farm, who are in my opinion, the leaders in herbal wisdom. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about hormone disruptors, like those fancy dancy lattes, and what you should be having instead. Now I'm not just gonna be giving you some regular old healthy pumpkin spice latte. Did you think I was gonna be that predictable? Rather, I'm gonna give you my hormone balancing pumpkin spice latte from my Sexy Lady Balls program. I'm damn right excited. Remember to read labels because sugar is hidden in so many foods. So if you're eating excess carbs, or drinking more than four servings of alcohol per week. Should I bring one bottle to the party or two? Better be looking at it than for it. Then baby, your body is being flooded with sugar. Here are a couple of facts. For every molecule of sugar that you consume, it requires your body 54 molecules of magnesium just to process it. And then you wonder why you're stressed, grinding your teeth, or got that twitchy eye. Dude, I so wasn't winking at you. And sugar decreases our body's ability to bind to testosterone and estrogen, making us run the risk of developing an excess to either one of them. Hooray for excess weight, fibroids, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, PCOS, and chin hair. I got it. Oh no, it's gray. You're going to begin by adding in one cup of unsweetened almond milk into a pot. Next, you're gonna add in turmeric that has an affinity to our liver, plus cracked pepper to increase the bioavailability of curcumin, the active component found in turmeric. If you're thinking about balancing your hormones, then supporting your liver is crucial since it plays a huge role in detoxification. Next, add in one teaspoon cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon dried ginger, freshly ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon allspice. These herbs are highly anti-inflammatory, making them perfect for issues like PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, and more. Next, add in one teaspoon of maca to the pot. Maca helps us adapt to stress, and from what I've seen, women undergoing hormonal issues generally need some stress support. The misconception is, is that it raises estrogen, but maca contains no phytoestrogens like soy does. Rather, it works with the hypothalamus and the pituitary so that it's able to balance out our estrogen and our progesterone levels in the body. Add in two teaspoons coconut oil, four to five drops stevia, and a pinch of sea salt. Last but not least, add in one tablespoon of pumpkin puree. Heat, then pour into a blender, blend, pour, and enjoy. If you love this video, then make sure to download my five must-have tools to balancing your hormones by clicking the link at the end of this video. Enjoy. Whether 
you have it with milk or soy, it is an inflammatory wood. I just forgot my line. Shiz. I got it! You know what they say, you kill one and six come to the funeral. Is that the line?